Ladies and gentlemen, may I present... Chat Chili here. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about ketogenic ratios. Now, I know this is starting to get a little more popular because of the ketogenic diet, the Atkins diet, but lately, carb night and carb backloading. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, I highly encourage you to check out Dangerously Hardcore Kefir. Um, I believe his website is now athlete.io. Um, but he wrote two books, one called Carb Night Solution, and the other one was written more recently called Carb Backloading. And the concepts behind them are basically a carb cycling program. So you're going to go through periods of time where you have low and high carbohydrates. What I want to jump into here though, is that during the times where you're not consuming carbohydrates, ketogenic ratio. Now, what this is basically is just making it as simple as possible with people screw it up of you need to eat more fat. It's that simple. You need to eat more fat. And when I explain this to people, lots of people think, oh well I'm not going to eat carbs and that will fix everything. Not quite. If you want to actually end up in ketogenesis, ketosis, etc., if you actually want to create a deficit, you have to avoid the protein too. You have to restrict the protein. The reason being, let's see, cut out the carbohydrates, but you're still consuming protein. Your body is amazingly adaptable. There's a process called gluconeogenesis. Basically, break it back down into the root words gluco, sugar, neo, new, genesis, generating. So it's generating new sugar. When we look at this, if you overeat the protein, you might as well be eating carbs because now your body's going to create the glucose anyways. So now you're going to have the high blood sugar regardless of the fact of whether or not you ate the good stuff. So, what we need here is we need 3 grams of fat per 1 gram of protein or carbohydrate. Let me put a caveat on this though. Okay, this is not an ad. You know, you, just, you, you can just eat everything you want as long as you just make sure you have three grams, of car uh, three grams of fat with every carb. You can't do that. You still have to keep the carbs low. Your total consumption of carbohydrates still has to be less than 5% of your total intake. And in fact, if you're following a program like carb backloading, you want that to be zero. Because you're going to eat your carbs anyway, so don't worry about the fact that the first half of the day you're not eating carbohydrates. You're going to get them back. But in a ketogenic diet, or if you want Atkins to actually work for you, you're going to want to cut those carbohydrates down as low as you possibly can. Most people will tell you as a rule of thumb, less than 30 grams a day of carbohydrates. The next thing you want to consider is your protein intake. Your protein intake should be 20% or less of your total intake. And then finally, your fat is going to fill up all the majority of your calories here. You're going to eat 75% or more fat. If you eat 90% fat and 10% protein, you are still ketogenic. But if you suddenly eat 30% protein and only 70% fat, you may bump yourself out of ketosis. Um, and don't count on keto sticks because peeing on those little sticks, other than if you like peeing on your hands, um, they're really not very accurate for tracking things. You need to track it in your blood. And I can explain to you really quickly like this. If your body's producing the ketones, but it's in ketogenesis, which you may remember from another video, and not necessarily in ketosis, right? So you are in your ketogenic ratio, but your body's doing a good job of producing just what you need. Whenever you urinate, it's not going to have any extra ketones in it. You're not going to register anything on that little strip. You have to take your blood to actually measure the ketones. However, if you suddenly ate carbohydrates because your body would switch back to burning glucose, it would flush out all those ketones that you're holding on to because the body actually prefers to bur burn glucose over ketones. And so then suddenly you're eating carbohydrates and you'd be peeing out ketones because um, your body was holding on to them and now it decides, oh, I don't need them anymore. The point being though, if you're doing a ketogenic diet, if you want Atkins to actually work, or if you're doing carb night, which is like six days of a ketogenic diet, and then one day of high carb, well one night actually, on your seventh day, 
you would have a lot of carbs at, in the p.m. or carb backloading where you're eating carbohydrates every day in the p.m. The point is during those low carb times your optimal ratio is going to be this guy right here. You want that 75% or more fat with keeping the carbohydrates down to less than 5% of your total intake. That's all I got for you guys today. What's the matter with you people? I was joking! Don't you know a joke when you hear one? <laughs>